They're gonna sack yeah. Startersville? Is that what I heard? They're gonna invade Startersville? What did they do to deserve it? Not really sure. For all you playing at home, Amiibos, they can work up an appetite. But uh, right now, we're gonna get to this game. Game one, Boz and Slowjo, Thor, or PK Thor, and Crash. And right off the bat, blue team taking a quick lead. Oh, that jab block! I think Boz was looking for a follow-up there, didn't get it. The PK Thor coming back on stage. And now we got, all right. It's kind of hopping, a lot of neutral right now. We got Minty Green hopping on the mic now. What's up, guys? What's up? All right, so right now, game kind of even, but PK Thor goes off stage early. Boz looking for a follow-up. Oh, Ooh, yikes. But he turned around on him. He'll make it back, though. Yeah, that's the thing about Martha. I mean, I feel like going off stage against Ness, it, you know, it sounds like a good idea at the time he's got it on that he has to hit into himself, yeah. but you go off a little too late, it's going to hit you with that. Be, yeah. be ready to test. Do, does the spike beat it? Luigi almost getting Boz. All right. Read the, the standard get up. Boz loses first stock from blue team. Yeah, see, that was smart by Crash. He uh, spiked him, and then he knew that Boz was going to have to try something to shield, but he just waited for the get up and then forward smash. It's very nice by And Slojo quickly evening up the score with the classic Jack. Fox running Knight up smash. Now Boz taking PK Thor off stage again. He's really trying to space out those tippers, get the early kill, with especially if he's on the platform on that side of the stage. Oh, he tries it again! Dan versus Lucy. Almost reached a little Dan too far, but he's able Lucy. to recover. So now if you played Brawl, it's kind of a reverse matchup. Marth was like amazing against Ness, and now Ness is the better character in this game. And I don't know how the matchup works really much in this game, but I feel like Ness is being the better character is going to oh, be Marth. The tables have definitely turned in the favor of Ness. So he's, he's just a stronger character in this game. But Boz, I mean, those that tipper is not to be slept on. Yeah, tipper is very strong in this game. I'd say it's stronger than it's ever been. I've seen a lot of forward smash kills really early. Slow Joe far off stage, but he's coming back with an upbeat, and Boz is going to do the same. Oh, might have gotten a piece of a teammate there. Oh, all right, took Boom counter. Versus nice Tristan. counter, taking Boom Thor to Tristan. his last stock. Crash hanging on to that first one. That jab lock racking up a quick 29%. I think Crash actually threw in a blow on his teammate there as well. Crash is doing a great job holding the stock, definitely because of four at 50% already on his last stock. Uh, Crash is doing the right thing in this situation. You can see there, he was hanging on the ledge, so he's definitely playing defensive, but Slowjo backing up damage on Thor. Oh, and a nice little combo there. Got some more percent on Crash. Oh, Boz looked for a follow-up there, but maybe his dash lasted a little bit too long. He maybe. wasn't able to... I think he was looking for an up smash, I would guess, on Marth. The combo breaker sends Marth up into the sky. And Crash waiting with that up smash, but Boz says no. At 142, that up throw is going to kill 163, so good idea by Boz to just get him out of there. Yeah, it's a nice quick option. He could get out. All right, Boz avoiding that PK thunder uh, this time. But that back throw, that's a kill. I feel like off stage, uh, going back to um, Marth Ness, I think off stage when Ness immediately goes for the upbeat, if he's, uh, you see where the Ness name thing is at the bottom. Uh, when it goes into the camera, I'd say if he's like going near the edge, kind of at a 45 degree angle, I'd say that Martha forward air since he's so fast, he's going to poke in Ness out. But I don't think Bosch should be going off stage for uh, down air because uh, Ness is priority. I think it has more priority than Martha's down. Yeah, the, the PK Thunder would, I, I would assume it would have priority over a lot of stuff, but I haven't seen it all. All right. Yeah, good option there. Knew he wasn't going to be able to kill his teammate with a soft hit, but Boz says, thanks so much. I'll take that stock. We're basically tied up right here. Yeah. A couple of uh, silly mistakes for blue team. Oh, and Fox chipped with the upbeat, but Crash sacrificed himself to take out uh, Slowjo as well. That's a little bit of a chow tzu right there. I think Slowjo, that might not have been like planned by Slowjo, but he knew what he was doing with that forward arrow. No, stage. yeah. We saw it earlier uh, when he was playing on stream that he could, he could that carry that. But, yeah. but he got Luigi down, and so it's Boz and uh, PK4 right now. And I was like, this, um, they've been playing pretty evenly throughout the set, and Boz has really been keeping uh, PK Thor off stage, and it looks like he's able to get in with those side Bs. And that's where Marth wants to be. He wants Ness on the edge, because I feel like Marth has a lot of good options to be able to get Ness back off stage. But, same thing. We don't want, we don't want Boz going off stage against Ness, especially at this percent. One back throw will do it at this point, at the right, even like anywhere on the stage, that should be it. Oh, looked for a uh, standard get-up to punish with the forward smash, but Boz coming back, swinging. That's that up B. Oh. Ah, yep, neutral air. Well, an unfortunate turn of events for blue team, but now green team able to steal a win. And at the end there, 
Ness, like I was saying, it's kind of whoever was on the edge was going to have a disadvantage. And Boz being on the edge there, Martha with a slow get up animation, and he's vulnerable in those frames. Ness with a neutral that comes out, I don't know, frame five, six, really fast. So, and it kills. So on that side of the stage, that's going to kill, and it's going to be really good. Now Boz with the switch over to Roy, looking for a little more power, a I little, more, a little speed. more kill power. Yeah, I mean. With spacing, arguably Marth can do it as well, but it's it takes more of like frame trap work and reads. All right, back to Smashville, back to Startersville, and both the blue team just kind of hanging back real quick. I think this is a good pick for uh, Roy and Fox because Fox on Smashville very good, and uh, you know Fox knows Marth and Roy's you know a little better I'd say definitely faster uh, and more akin to Marth from Brawl yeah yeah I'd say you know despite the tipping things I would agree with that it's saying that Roy is kind of like Marth from Brawl in terms of speed um, he feels a lot more like uh, uh, Marth from Brawl yeah um, but um, right now it seems to be working out Ness again at Hyper Sun yeah he get Thor and wow a very early kill with the up air. I didn't think with Rage he'd be able to do it. I mean, but. I'd say of course that's going to kill up near the stage, but he was near the like actual like neutral part of the stage, so I'm surprised that killed. Yeah, that's strong. It was fresh. With the fresh, young and fresh up airs. Alright, Boz. Trying to get back on stage. Versus perpetual win. Tried to punish him. Versus perpetual win. I think Boz, one thing I've seen him doing a little bit too much is uh, rolling back on the stage and then forward smashing. And I think the problem with that is um, it's pretty slow, and uh, people should be able to shield that. So I would see either running out the way. Ooh, a great team combo from Blue turned into disaster as Crash throws uh, Slow Joe into Roy's up smash and then Knight takes out Roy as well. Jono. I didn't even see that. Knight versus Jono. Very quick kill. I was gonna say I was gonna give Blue Team uh, props for that. But it quickly turned against him, and Boz is low, but he's coming back. And we're seeing the same situation, Ness at high percent. It's very dangerous for Ness, because Fox is a very fast character to kill Ness pretty early, and Roy's just a you know, powerhouse with his forward smashes. They've got more kill potential now. Oh, all right. The forward tilt, taking Thor off stage. Slowjo ignoring him to follow up on an attack on Crash. And, ooh! Well, that was a good down smash by Ness. That was very smart. Yeah, and Boz just barely floats over Crash's head. Narrowly avoiding a forward smash with the charge, that would have been death. Oh! Uh, Went face first into a fox with the old YOLO. We got some controller catastrophes going on. That's unfortunate, but let's get back to this match. Blue team with two stocks, but close to kill percent. Very good side beat there by Boss. He's been. Dazzling with those side bees. Oh, oh, and... That's kind of just a miscommunication there. Yeah, I was going to say, Crash doing a good job of holding on to the stock. It was at a low percent, but... Slow Joe, yeah. very knowledgeable oh. Fox. That was just an insane combo. And he ate a, an up tilt there from Luigi, which almost took him off stage. Good DI. And Boz down on his last stock now. Neutral air takes Slow Joe off. And now we're at one game. Well, yeah. one stock. I think match. that was a problem there. Uh, Boz was using side B. And Slow Joe was kind of afraid to get up there. And then he went and Ness just had the opportunity to get him. But right now, you know, Ness still at a high percent. Uh, very, very killable. Right yeah, now. this has been maintained throughout the game. Like, the momentum of where characters fall in terms of percent and kill range has been pretty steady throughout this match, which uh, puts it in blue team's favor. And that's an up smash. Right. Ness is off. It's up to Crash to seal the deal. But we got Roy the deal sealer, so I don't know how this is going to happen. It's very smart. Just grab release and then an up smash. Free combos here in doubles. Okay. Good knowledge of Crash waiting for the up air, spot dodging it, and he comes back on stage. Slow Joe throwing out hitboxes all over get, the place. It, you know, he got lucky there, but it's like, how do you get on that? Fox is so fast, and you have Roy covering roll options, and with his strong aerials covering even jump options. Now Crash playing monkey in the middle. <laughs> Forces, he tries to get over to the side, waits for an approaching buzz. Not the best option to go in for a grab there. Got punished for that. Yeah. And game two goes to blue team. Two v one. Even though you're, even though you're Luigi and you have Dash those good combos, Luigi and two v one, yeah. you shouldn't be grabbing. Any type of grab is going to leave you vulnerable to the um, the opponent. See now in this game you can throw. <laughs> you get out of here, single black female. Uh, <laughs> Everyone just looked at me awkwardly. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's a guy. He's, he's <laughs> single and he's black and he's a she's a female. She's a female. It's she. 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 Come she. Up, like, uh, different, like, all right. Ways to say SPF every time. Uh, like, Nusi versus Jan Cena. Sunblock uh, fortification. <laughs> All right, we got. All right, so band's coming on FT. Dotcon, that's smart. Um, Dotcon's a very good band against his team, against the team of Ness and Luigi, killing on both sides and up top. Uh, they're a very balanced team, I say Luigi and Ness, because they have kill potential in all sides of the game. And uh, they, at Duck Hunt, they have a lot of space to turn it into a one v one. Arguably, the one v ones have been going in blue team's favor, with uh, Slow Joe racking up damage really quick on PK four. I would see Boz back to Mars. Um, if they go to a different okay. stages, might be good. I'd say... You might have been hoping for that battlefield. Maybe. I feel you like... You know, Boz is the battlefield, man. I, I feel like uh, Roy is a better choice here, but... Um, you know, we'll see. Boz knows his character very well, and... Uh, yeah, you know, the results favored Roy in the last game, but we'll see how this goes. And Slow Joe! With a quick combo, taking Rice, Thor Rice off stage, forces him to do Rice, Rice, an upbeat, and he'll get even more percent off See, that. That's, that's why Slow Joe is such a good player. He, he realizes that he's right above, he doesn't have time to do smash, there's no reason to do down smash, he just does the up tilt and gets two of them for about 14%, and you know, he saves his kill moves. So Slow Joe is very knowledgeable about Fox, knowing what moves to do and what moves you know, not to do. And he's shielding things as uh, as people come down. Like we saw PK Thor drop and throw out a forward air. He's Dan right and instantly Floyd. punished with that. Dan down. versus Floyd. Oh! All right, he took out his partner. Or no, he got I'm both. Oz. I'm, I'm not really sure how uh, Slow Joe didn't yeah, get hit there. He got out of it. Somehow got shield broken and didn't uh, die there. But yo, is team attack on, boys? Did we turn this off again? What's going on here? All right. But well, nonetheless, Boz with a double kill on his forward man. It was charging the entire time. <laughs> Tournament's over. Come over next week. Pack it in. Turn it on. Right. And now Boz, off stage, green team, trying to double team him there for a second, but now it's back to one v ones and Slowdro dropping very low, but coming back. Wow. He's just amazing me with his play. And he switched up that jab into a grab. The locks. It's, it's very, very knowledgeable player. Crash, looking for Boz to land on stage, get that up smash. Was able to hit Slow Joe and take Boz off stage with a down B. Oh, and there's the thing with Fox's jab combo on Ness, if they're not completely in it. And a lot of characters too, they can throw up the neutral and get out of it. Ness is neutral, he's having to kill. And I don't think he was ready for that because that was a, and that's an unfortunate Kind of an unfortunate SD angle. I thought Ness was going to be, you know, grabbing the edge there, but unfortunately, I didn't If he waited yeah. an extra second, he might have had the space to angle the PK Thunder, but Slow Joe was waiting for him. I, so I don't it, it think, been a I think um, when you do that with Ness, uh, you have to do it immediately after you hit the side of the stage. You can up you again. Oh, uh, okay. I so. think you can't wait. I think you have to do it again. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, not a great opportunity. And Crash actually... Uh, Psy being down the bottom, I think he lost his jump somewhere in there, and this is quickly turning it uh, farther away in Blue Team's favor. And as I was saying, I was debating the Marth Roy for Boss. Um, forward Smash was a, you know, that might not have killed with Roy, um, and it was charged fully, but the sour spot, you know, is on the strong, and I believe you tipped one of them. And now we got both teams jumping around, and nobody taking hits right now. Thor waiting for that forward air from Fox. Throws out his neutral air. Both of those guys got good combo breakers. I mean, Luigi's super reliable, but Ness as well. He can get out of stuff. Yeah, with that both characters with the neutral airs. Oh, and Boz. Oh, the misfire brings him back in wow, stage spike. Wow, we nice. tech those. Uh, no, no, we don't. And Slow Joe low, but he's coming back. Magnet hands. Ooh. Now, it, all it takes is, you know, just grab a sub smash. Oh! Interesting. The spacing was just a little bit off. PK Thor able to escape up smash. <laughs> Looking for the style now with the upbeat. The same, <laughs> the same custom fox. The same right? custom fox. <laughs> that was last week. What? We live in the present, so. Losing Yes! Good game! And Boz game. with the pop off. Good game, Boz. Happy man. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good, uh. It was close. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Those pop-ups, they come out fast. Oh my god. I'm gonna say, I said it last time, and it happened again. Faded. Faded. <laughs> Hook line and Link Linkum. Who the heck is this? Star-based fruit?